All right, Coach Tay here for the last part of our travel band workout. Uh, the last part is a stretchy. Stretchy is part of every routine. You should always remember to do your uh, warm up as well. Forgot to mention that. Um, this is using the band to perform a good stretch after you work out. Placing the band around your foot, you want to come underneath of your foot, take one end, wrap it around, and pull tight so that's nice and secure. You want to stabilize your hips by placing your foot against a wall. Okay, so scooch up enough so that you can really stabilize your hips. Then you're going to take the band and you're going to just lead with your ankle, dorsiflexing your foot, and you should feel a stretch all the way down the back of your leg, especially in your calf. You're going to hold it there for 20 seconds. That's how long you should hold a static stretch. And then you're going to take it out to the side, and this will get your interior thigh, okay? And you're going to come out to the side, now you're gonna, again, lead with your, push your ankle out, your heel out, and dorsiflex your foot. You can also put the band behind your head, okay? And just let that give a nice stretch in the inner part of your thigh. And when you hold these static stretches, you should have a straight leg, but don't lock out your knee. Just get it just as straight as you can without locking out your knee. And then you're bringing your foot over to the other side, you're really gonna feel this in your IT band. This is where stabilizing your hips on the wall comes in place. If you don't have it, you're gonna lose the stretch because your hips are gonna go over that way. So you're stabilizing your hips, then you're bringing this over and taking nice breaths because this is not a particularly comfortable stretch, okay? Hold that for about 20 seconds. You'll feel that all along here in your IT band back here, okay? All right, then we're gonna go to the quad stretch and the hip flexor, okay? So you can do this by, again, circling this around your foot, then bringing the foot in the back, okay? You're gonna have this right behind your head. You can get in a half kneeling position and bring this up behind you like this. You will feel this in the front quite a bit. And just hold for 20 seconds, okay? Uh, then another stretch that you can do is the, okay, we're gonna move to the shoulders, okay? So for this one, you may want to keep the bus in the door or loop this around a pole, okay? So you can come over here or to wherever you can find a pole or a door. Loop the band around, okay? Put the band around your wrist, grab the band, come back, hinge at the hip, allowing your arm to come up over your head so you get a nice stretch through the front of your chest, down your side. You can also rotate your hand, palm up, palm down, signation, pronation. You can also come out to the side, hinge at the hip, again. And you also stand on the side and get some stretch back here through your pelvis. And then last but not least, to get your traps, you want to come in, grab it, and get it behind your back. And then just get very slight pressure. You can feel this in your chest. And those are your band stretches.